All right, everybody, what is going on? We're hopping into the 200% level 10 Lynx Easy A showcase here for AGL UI Goku. So you guys know I've been summoning on that Beast Gohan banner like crazy, and I did actually end up rainbowing this guy today. So we've got him here. We've got his 8th anniversary equips on him that give him the extra defense, uh, which I do think is going to be important for both him and Vegeta. Uh, I've got him with mostly a dodge build, but it's kind of even be between dodge and additional. There is no need to give this guy any crit. The only crit I have on him is from the skill orb, and the only reason I'm even using this is for the extra defense. So, um, here he is, you know, a bunch of categories, level 10 links, all ready to go here. Uh, sorry it took me a little bit longer to get this one out, um, you know, than Vegeta's, but I had Vegeta rainbowed, I didn't have UI Goku rainbowed though, so we're starting out with 4 out of 7 links activated here with Beast Gohan, uh, I believe we're sharing Shocking Speed, Prepared for Battle, uh, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power are the 4 links that we're sharing, the other links are, uh, Tournament of Power, uh, Godly Power, and Kamehameha. Those are the ones that we are not sharing, so uh, here we go, we're at 338k defense. Now here's the thing with UI Goku, on his very first turn, he does have a 100% chance to dodge. So all of these attacks that Zamasu decided to just put in slot 1 right here, we are guaranteed to dodge those. So let's go ahead, get this uh, out of our system, and see how we do right here. So that's 1, I believe he needs 5 to fully build up. He gets 30% attack and defense with each attack uh, dodged. So, what are we at? Like, 4 right here with the super attack? Alright, and then I think that's 5 right there. So, we're already fully built up. He shoots at a 15.3 million attack stat here with a guaranteed crit coming in. And then he does have a 77% chance to get an additional super attack right here. He does get it. Alright, this is also a guaranteed crit, by the way, at a 10 million attack stat. Uh, he is raising his attack on both of these super attacks, so we could potentially get one more. We do, and there is the triple super attack. I mean, this is like already no support, by the way. Um, but this is pretty much the best turn we're going to get in the video, probably. Uh, I'm probably going to hop into a couple events here to showcase UI Goku, just depending on how things go right here. Uh, again, 100% chance to dodge on this guy's first appearance, and then after that, it is 77%, and then he does build up a 7% chance separately with each attack he dodges in a turn. So, um... Point being here, AGL UI Goku is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and cut, and we'll come back whenever he's on rotation again. Uh, this fight is not very hard for the superhero team, as you guys can see. So we'll be back in just a moment. All right, here we are again, and we actually do have the revive possible right here. Um, so uh, Gogeta and what's his name? Uh, Gogeta and Broly both took about 100k from the AoE. Zamasu did an AoE basically in slot 1 like he always does pretty much. Um, and they took about 100k from it each. So that's why we lost HP right there. So we actually do lose some stats with AGL UI Goku whenever that happens. Uh, we lose 77% attack and defense. Now here's the thing though. We do actually do have the Gammas on rotation right here. Who are giving 50% support for um, uh, Goku right here. So we actually... We're only losing about 27% to stats uh, compared to last turn. So uh, we're at to 785k defense right here, but that's all he has. Um, he is capped out on defense right here. I kind of want to throw the Gammas into slot 1 just to attempt to revive right here. So I think I'm going to do that. Again, th this is not what you want to do. I am solely doing this to try to force the revive out right here. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening. There is still a decent chance that we survive here, but with the Gammas being type disadvantage... Um, okay, <laughs> well, they, they, they are 55%, by the way. So, um, I mean, that, that can happen. You can dodge. <laughs> that, that is something that can occur. And then they are fine defensively. Okay. So we just need uh, UI Goku to uh, fail us, and then and then we'll be all good. All right. So he's up to the 14.27 million again. That's pretty much exactly where he was last turn. So again, we didn't really lose much in terms of our stats. Uh, only about a 27% drop at the start of turn. So yeah, you can see he's down to a 9.69 instead of a 10. Again, it's not that important considering we're still doing guaranteed crits. We still have the additionals. We still have the dodge. So... Um, We'll see what ends up happening here. I actually wouldn't mind if he ate this. Like, please actually eat this. No. Okay, of course not. And we're fine. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're not taking damage. Beast Gohan shoots out of 12. Uh, I mean, are we even going to be able to die in here? Probably not. I mean, Zamasu's just reached the point where he cannot hurt us. Uh, the most damage we could have taken was on the Gammas right there. And uh, <laughs> Zamasu decided not to super him, so... We'll be back uh, in a turn and see UI Goku maybe one more time in this video, but then I think we're going to be done. So let me know what you guys thought, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and move into another fight here. 
Okay, we're back on rotation again here. I'm gonna go ahead and transform Gogeta just cuz uh, and then I am gonna drop the core breaker I guess uh, we can we can just do that That shouldn't KO Yeah, it doesn't okay. Uh, I'm also gonna pop UI Goku's active skill, but we'll actually play this one right here So let's uh, let's get this going and uh, we'll play this as part of the showcase Alright, there we go. A uh, nice 7 million crit from Goku. Again, that would hit harder if we could get him to revive, but uh, that has proved a challenging task here. I'm going to throw the Gammas in slot 1 again just to see if they will, you know... <laughs> blow up uh you know we'll see we'll see what happens right here okay there we go finally all right we're gonna get the revive right no we weren't no we were okay Alright, so we finally got his revive. Guys, we, we only had to force it out. Uh, <laughs> uh, guys, we're not making it to the next rotation, I'm afraid to tell you. So let's just, uh, let's just get this KO screen. And let's go ahead and move into the next fight here. <laughs> At least we got the animation in the video, right? Alright, we're hopping back in. I've been trying to get this guy, uh, UI Goku. I've been trying to get his revive so that we can kind of get a rotation of him next to Vegeta with his revive up. But, uh, taking damage is hard. I brought Roshi here to try to take damage, like I said, and, uh, dude, it, I can't. I can't. Roshi either just gets one shot or I don't take- what, UI Goku got hit? Whoa, buddy. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that helps us. I think they changed his revive condition. Uh... Yeah, so they actually got rid of the, the hits. So it used to be uh, he got his revive after you received three attacks in battle. Now it's only the HP condition, which I would argue in most inst instances is better. But why didn't they just leave also the like, if you get hit three times, you can still revive. Like, I think that would have been really good if they just left it on there. Like, keep it exactly what, like it is. If HP 77% or less, you can use it. But also make it so that if UI Goku gets hit three times, it, you, you can also use, like, either or. That would have been really good. Okay, this is good. Roshi took some damage there. All right. So we just have to not heal. So I'm not going to be using anything here. Uh, so let's grab that. Again, we cannot grab same type orbs right here. All right. I, I think we're, like, right at 77%. So... We should be fine right here. Gohan's not taking damage from this. Now, here's the issue. is it, it, We don't just have to get below 77% 77, 77 HP. We also have to die. Uh, and I'm not sure who is dying. Uh, on this next rotation, we have the Gammas, AGL UI Goku, and Evolution Blue Vegeta. I'm not... Like, who who's getting KO'd on that rotation? Hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. But at least we've taken damage now. Hopefully, we can just... Uh, you know, keep Roshi around. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut here and come back once maybe, hopefully, we can revive. <laughs> All right. We should be able to get the revive right here, everybody. Uh, I've been, listen, that's a lot of pressure for Roshi at the end. He'd have to go absolutely insane to be able to survive all of that. Uh, and I'm actually going to have him attack Rose uh, because he can't actually stun Zamasu, and I don't want that. I want him to, like, take as much pressure as possible and die. Like, I, I, the last time he was on rotation... Uh, you know, he took like, I don't know, 400k or whatever it was that got us down to the HP that we're at right now. So I'm, I'm fairly confident that, uh, <laughs> that we're going to be able to get the revive right here. I mean, again, Roshi has that 30% chance to dodge. He could be the luckiest man in the world right here and just start bobbing and weaving like he did against Ganos, you know? Uh, we, we could see that. We, we could. But hopefully not. We, sh we should be fine right here to get the revive. And then the next rotation will actually have the Gammas on rotation. Uh, and that'll get us the 50% support. So, all right. Uh, this is looking good right here. Again, oh wait, is it going to proc Roshi's revive? It, it should prioritize... No, we don't even have Roshi's revive because we don't have two other Turtle School characters on the team. 
So yeah, we should be fine. I had to double check that. Yeah, okay. Um, I think it should prioritize whoever's like in the first slot. So it should be Goku's revive right here. Uh, I think. Hopefully it doesn't do Vegeta's for some reason. That would be, that'd be unfortunate. All right, die. No, Roshi, please. Please, please eat this, Roshi. Yes, okay, perfect. Let's play the revive again. Oh, and then I'll just cut and come back whenever Goku's on rotation again. Okay, finally, everybody, we do have, uh, we do have UI Goku here juiced out. So this is going to be five out of seven links activated. Everything except for Kamehameha and Shocking Speed. Uh, Shocking Speed is just defense, so it's not a huge deal. Um... And then we also do have 50% support from the Gammas. And we're at 1.15 million defense right here. Uh, pretty good. Also remember that these guys, if I were to put them in slot 1, they give a 50% buff to... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, they don't. Hang on. Alright, there we go. <laughs> um, Gamma 1 right here gives a 50% buff for two turns to all allies. So this is a multiplicative buff. And since UI Goku doesn't have a super attack effect, it is a straight multiplicative buff to his defense. So it would, you just multiply this by 1.5 and that would be his defense, which is like insane, right? Like he'd be up to 1.7 million or something like that. Uh, so here he is. Again, we do have a turn of guaranteed dodging here too, by the way, because we got his revive activated. Uh, also Vegeta at 800k defense right here. Yeah, both of these guys are just monsters once they get their extra stats from reviving. They both get that extra 77%, and then we do have the 50% support from the Gammas. Uh, so let's see, let's see. Let's see how they do right here. We'll see what Goku shoots out, and then I'll probably get... Oh, it's the Dokkan attack. Uh, we may kill Rose right here. I won't click any of the nodes, though. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I'll probably get one more rotation. He's at a 23.78 million attack stat right here. Uh, and this isn't like an unrealistic rotation. I'm not like super juicing or anything like that. This is just what Goku looks like post revive on the superhero team. I mean, I had to bring Roshi to force the revive in this event in particular, but there are plenty of tough events. By the way, he shoots at a 77% chance to get this 16 million right here with a guaranteed crit. We could do one more. Feel free, Goku. We do not, but again... 70% 70, uh, 70 chance to dodge is uh, obviously very good. Yep. Or 77% actually. And then he builds up a 7% chance. Also, Vegeta at a 26 million here um, <laughs> is also pretty good. Uh, so that's that's great. We love that. Uh, let's get one more rotation. It's going to be a couple turns before I can actually get the one that I want. But I figure we've gone this long. Let's just let's just see uh, one more rotation with Goku. All right. And then we'll, then we'll be right back here. <laughs> Vegeta looked crazy here as well, by the way. Okay, let's get the sound back on. There we go. All right, so this is going to be the last rotation that we get in the video right here. Um, we have Roshi support, which I think is 30%. It's been a while since I've used this guy. 40%. 40% attack and defense for Turtle School. So we have 40% support from Roshi. We have uh, like 6 out of 7 links activated now. I think everything except for Shocking Speed is activated since Roshi is here with Kamehameha. And we're at 1.69 million defense because we do have the Gamma's 2 turn support buff up right here. So Vegeta up to a million too, by the way. His, his defense won't be going up as much, but I mean, Vegeta's defense gets even higher here. UI Goku's capped, but, but he's going to keep going. So uh, that's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and grab these. Let us... This is probably going to be the most the active skills ever done, so I'm just going to use this really quickly. Uh, we'll just see how much damage it does, because why not? Let's just see. This is a guaranteed crit. 4 million? I mean, on that Zamasu, sure, why not? Um, we'll get his OST playing here, I guess, for uh, this last part. So here we go. Let's grab this, and then we will go ahead and move into the breakdown after this. Let me know what you guys thought about UI Goku. Uh, this is probably the most juiced I can get him over here on my JP account. Again, we got the Gamma's two-turn support buff up, which I think is just defense. Uh, but then we do have the 40% support from Roshi as well. Um, and then, what did I say? Six out of seven links activated. Everything except for shocking speed is up. 
So let's see how he does. Vegeta looks crazy, by the way. <laughs> uh, Veg Vegeta's looking really good right here. All right. So UI Goku, full HP, revive buff up, two-turn support Vegeta. Bro, relax, bro. Let me get to it. Let me lead into... Let me lead into... The, let me hype this boy up. All right. Here he comes. UI Goku. He, he's at a 3 million before he even attacks, by the way. That's pretty cool. Uh, 24.749 million right here. And then again, he could do two more. So feel free, buddy. There's one. Here's the second one. That's a 77% chance to get that, by the way. Um, unlike Vegeta's, it's just the chance to get it. Vegeta, if you don't get the super, will do a normal. Uh, but UI Goku, he just has the chance to super. So potentially right there, that could have been the hidden potential. We, don't, we actually don't know. Uh, but there we go. All right, let me know what you guys thought. Thank you for watching, and let's go ahead and move into the breakdown. All right, this is True Ultra Instinct. Goku Ultra Instinct. <laughs> His leader skill is the Miraculous Awakening category. Uh, or reps of Universe 7, key 3, 170% the stats. Pretty good. Um, he is probably uh, like a decent... You could run like double UI Goku as a Miraculous Awakening or reps of Universe 7 leader. Like if you needed to run those teams for a mission. Uh, UI Goku is so good that, I mean, uh, absolutely you could get some value out of that leader skill. So there is that. Um, his super attack effect, his 12 key, perfect, in perfect instinct extreme. Greatly raises attack for one turn. Colossal damage. High chance to crit for one turn. Raises all allies chance performing a critical hit plus 7% uh, for one turn. So that's cool. Uh, that means if you put this guy in slot 1, all your other characters are getting a nice 7% chance to crit on their super attack effect, which is nice. Um, the ultra super attack. Supreme Kamehameha Extreme. Massively raises attack for one turn. Mega Colossal Damage. High chance to perform a critical hit for one turn, and then raises all allies' uh, chance to crit by 7% for two turns. So this will actually start affecting your other rotation, which is nice. So uh, if you get like a triple super with this guy, for example, though, he'll be giving the entire rotation a 21% chance to crit. And then if you start comboing that with Evolution Blue Vegeta, let's say he gets a triple super as well, then the unit in slot 3 is going to have a 42% chance to crit. So um, why people would still give crits to their units these days is beyond to me but you know uh it is what it is by the way the way this works is well real quick uh right here you get a guaranteed crit now whenever you get to 24 key but like let's say you get to 19 key or 23 key something like that right um and you get the 50 percent chance to crit right here um as long as you do like an 18 key super attack whether or not you get the crit if you do an additional super attack, these will stack together and you'll actually have a 100% chance to crit on any additional super attack that you do. So no matter what, if this guy, or well, it, it doesn't matter actually, even if you get like 11 key. If this guy double supers ever, his second super attack is always guaranteed to crit even if you don't get the 24 key. So that's how this guy works. And then obviously the third one would be a crit as well if you got it. Uh, so let's go to his passive, key plus seven, guaranteed dodge. For his first turn. Obviously this is extremely powerful. He gets 200% attack and defense. He gets 77% attack and defense. At the start of turn. Whenever HP is 77% or more. So on like turn 1. He would have a guaranteed dodge chance. And 277% to stats. He gets the chance of launching an additional super attack. And chance to dodge. Plus 77%. Uh, again this is just an additional super. He does not do a normal. If you ever see this guy do an additional normal, it is from his hidden potential system. That's the only way he can do an additional normal. Um, right here, he gets an additional chance to evade, plus 7% within the same turn with each attack evaded. This is actually a separate proc from this one right here. Um, so you'll build this up separately within the turn. So it's not great, but it is something, right? You start comboing a lot of these dodge buffs together, and this guy, it's going to be really hard for him to get hit. Uh, right here, you get an additional 2 key up to 10, an attack and defense, or I'm sorry, defense plus 30% up to 150 for every attack evaded. Uh, so you need to do 4 attacks, or I'm sorry, you need to dodge 5 attacks, and then you'll have this fully built up. Um, he gets an additional 77% attack and performs a critical hit, like I said, when activating the active skill or when key is 24. So that's nice, that's, you know, just extra attack, it's gonna make him hit really hard. <laughs> 
Um, if HP is 77% or less at the start of the character's attacking turn, revive if someone is KO'd on that turn. So pretty good revive condition. Not the most consistent because it is HP condition, but uh, this is good. It is good to have this in your back pocket. This is a team saving ability. In order to be a top tier unit in the game these days, you got to have one of these. If you're not protecting your allies, like you can be a great unit and be really good on your own, kind of like Broly. But if you're not protecting your allies too, you're just losing value. So um this is obviously a very top tier ability and then obviously the dodges as well but this this the dodge allows you to protect yourself um but the revive allows you to protect others which is important uh and then after you revive or if anybody else on the team revives you get seven key and 77 percent attack and defense and another turn of oh i'm sorry so if anybody revives him or Evolution Blue Vegeta, anybody, you get 7 key and 77% attack and defense at the start of turn for the rest of battle, which is really nice. But if UI Goku specifically revives, you get another turn of guaranteed dodging after, on the next turn that he appears. So that is very good. So like if Evolution Blue Vegeta revives, just as an example, you will get this piece right here, the 7 key, 77% attack and defense, but you will not get this, right? Um... UI Goku specifically has to revive in order to get this turn of guaranteed dodging. So uh, earlier in my video, whenever I was talking about like, oh man, we need to make sure that like UI Goku revives, it, it actually didn't matter because we didn't really need in this instance the turn of guaranteed dodging. But if this was like Red Zone or not Red Zone, if this was like Supreme Spectacle Gogeta or something like that, yeah, we'd we'd want to get this, you know. Uh, the active skill Strike of Fury greatly raises attack temporarily. Ultimate damage to the enemy can be activated starting from the fourth turn if HP is 50% or more. So not a terrible condition. This is pretty easy. Uh, not, not too bad. Uh, these are his links. Again, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, Godly Power, Kamehameha, Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Very, very, very good link set. You're going to be able to use this guy on a lot of team with a lot of teams with a lot of different characters. These are all of his categories, and as a result, he has a million 200% leaders. Um, he's got a couple metal ones right here, uh, and then he's got a couple that you could probably still use to some, like, success in a lot of these new fights so um again this guy is going to be a character that's going to be relevant forever now because they've given him a kit that's going to age well and he is on a lot of categories and keeps getting them so that is very nice and then these are his best linking partners going to be other ui goku's turn tournament of power saiyans things like that um I could have brought STR UI Goku for this video to link next to him, but Vegeta does the job fine. So uh, the only thing they're missing is Kamehameha, which I was able to get with Roshi, so it's not a big deal. And then there we go. Let me know what you guys think. I guess I could have brought this guy for the support, but again, Roshi does the same thing. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Probably going to be the only video I put out today because I'm tired and I need to go to bed. I spent uh, like an hour trying to replace a battery in a smoke detector. <laughs> Dude, there was like, we have like three smoke detectors all right next to each other and we could not figure out which one was beeping. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've ever had trouble replacing a smoke detector battery. Uh, we also have really high ceilings for one of them. So we had to go like get a really tall ladder and that was, that was very precarious. But um let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, global players, look what you are saving for right here. AGL UI Goku. Poss you could argue this guy as like the second. Listen, I, nobody's better than Beast, but potentially you could maybe argue this guy in some instances, maybe that he's like on par kind of with Beast. Maybe. I mean, not like actually because Beast is like really like insane, but you know, that dodge chance is going to outlive Beast's, uh, Beastie Boy's raw defense. So, you know, in five years, whenever we're still using this AGL UI Goku to complete a mission and uh, Gohan can't hold up anymore, I'm just saying, you know, that's going to have value. So, um, yeah, uh, listen, we got Gohan and Piccolo coming out soon on Global. Don't, like, guys, look at what this is. Look at right here. Look at what you're saving for. Uh, let me Let me actually pull this up just as a, you know, ending point to the video right here look at this banner look at this banner look at this guy they're still pretty you can use these guys they're, they're pretty good this is a crazy banner unit they still have some value uh this unit sucks but but they're gonna listen these guys are gonna easy a next year these guys easy a this year and are like the second and third best units in the game uh this guy you can still get some fringe use out of and then they're not great so there's really only like two losers on the banner 
Um, this unit, you know, you can still get some use out of. This guy's going to be able to help you with missions for a long time, and they're, like, good for Battlefield. But regardless, you have, like, a... You have four, like, top 10-ish potential... Like, they're, like, top 15 now. But, like, you, you still have, like, four top 15 units in the game on here. And then you have this who's, like, uh, either... the I don't know if they're the best banner unit, but they are a very good banner unit. And then, again, these guys are probably going to be, like, the number one unit in the game next year because they're going to EZA next year. So, like, that's just a good investment if you don't have them yet. So, And then they'll EZA the year after. So that's crazy, but that's that's the schedule. These guys are now EZAing in two years. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.